Welcome, it's your boy Raptor Man, and today we are back at it. Let's see. And today we're going to be uh, investigating the rumors of the Cilion Blade. Now, the Cilion Blade, if I'm not mistaken, was part of. Let me see. Was was a a sword was called a sword with a purpose, and when during the second kingdom of the Dells, the blade's purpose was to defend their borders, and when the Chantry marched against them, its purpose was to protect the innocent from those who oppress us. More than one hand, great, uh, more than one person wielded it in battle. Now earlier in a side quest, we came here to see so yeah, a pair of dead elves and victims found they discovered the resting place of the blade and so we're gonna check this out and see if we can find it. As you can see, the Dalish do. Okay, let's see. For this mission, um, I'm a huge fan of Sarah. She's his elven stuff. I like carrying Sarah. I had to contrast her Solace and Iron Bull because I like Bull. I just do. That and he's the only character that's actually finished at this point. This is where the Sullivan blade was lost. Lost or misused. There is a reason it was never reclaimed. You know, it sounds like Solus already knows that there's danger afoot. Buried treasure. More berry treasure. There's an altar. All right, let's mess with it and see what happens. Sounds like Bull remembers our last adventure. About to say for a second, what was that? Another one bites the dust.
Ooh, piece of candy. Perhaps if I made an attempt. Yes, yes. Go ahead, Solus. There's one of the spirit runes in case you haven't, in case you don't know where they are. Hopefully, I do remember where they're all at because um, out of, they're not as useful as the um, corrupting ruin. No ruin is useful as the corrupting ruin, but it's still nice to have, you know. Also, I never try to really pick up anything from this area because this area is great for farming. It was before. Now, see, now you don't really have to do it anymore. Uh, okay, back to the storyline. Right, let's pick this up and see what happens. That was a revelant. I won though. It's only part of the sword. The elves broke it after all. They performed a ritual they did not understand. It appears they paid the consequences for it. That corpse was possessed by a pride demon. I doubt it was alone. There must be more altars. And we have a story. Seems like we are supposed to recover the parts of the sword. Ooh, Silverite. Ah, it's tier two. We don't want that. Also, one of the things that are found throughout this mission are little lifts. Uh, not lifts. Ruin. Not ruins. Um, glyphs. I don't know why that took me so long to remember? Just little glyphs lying around here and there. The King's Will is more useful, so we're going to take that one. Oh, let's go ahead and go back here and call it a day. Sorry, call it a day. Let's check this one out. Hieroglyphs on the ground. Oh, crap. I was trying to stop him before he did that, but it didn't. Oh, got him. That's right. Go to sleep, bro. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. What color is 
the sky, Sarah? Hang on. It is an earnest question. What color is the sky when you look at it? You know, blue mostly. Except for the breachy bits. And when you looked past the breach? As perhaps you were drawn to you. Greenish? And clear a long ways and kind of felt like falling. Oh, makes my head hurt. You make my head hurt. We are not so far apart, you and I. We will be. Oh, it's what I've got to spell instead. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry. Let's see. Oh, here's another one. This time there's more of them. You see that he like he like power rangers lines through everything. And he still went down. Like a boss. Another piece of the puzzle. Cause you know, fish don't fry in the kitchen. It would seem that I found the leprechaun's treasure. Also, these are here too. Um, little code ent entries, and if you're completionist like myself. Wear the bow, nice. That's what I'm using, a uh, bow. The best. And the arrow. Ah, oh, it's like they knew that I was coming. I get that. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. I may have already checked that. I don't know. I think I did. Because it feels like it. Okay, now this... I know I did. Ghost fire. Okay. One lantern to rule them all. One to find them, and in the darkness, bind them.
I'm kind of annoyed that I know more about Lord of the Rings than I personally care to. Like, I want to understand why about certain things, but at the same time, I'm kind of upset that I learned certain things about Lord of the Rings. Okay. And the last one. I got you now this time, bro. Yes. I'm coming, like dear Santa, like dear Revelin. You are a bitch, nigga. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, Revelin. Dear Revelin, you are a bitch ass, nigga. I heard you hire extra security at the mall to protect you. That's a bitch move. Sincerely yours. <laughs> the saddest stalker. The final piece of the sword. Perhaps Dagna could find a way to restore it. Hopefully she can, because I totally want the El um, the Elven version of Excalibur. Even though Excalibur still sounds cooler. I was hoping more for this region. Like I was super hoping for um enhanced barrier ring. Like I really I really would like that ring. But maybe it's just not meant to be. Which is sad because I was hoping we had something special. Welcome to this character's version of Skyhold. I don't think I've ever been here in Skyhold with this character. This is my throne. I decided to go for a human feel with this character. There she is. Can you do something with it? That broken thing? You can't stitch a sword. Metal doesn't heal. What if it did though? That would be amazing. Dagna, the sword. Sorry. It's quality, right? I could use the pieces to make a plan for a new sword. 
one that's less broken. It's like the pieces are inspiration. That's just perfect for you. And there we go. That was the mission. Relatively short. No, no. But still. And as always, oh, I can't say right now. It's not right now. Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.